This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. And finally tonight, for soldiers returning from war, treating their physical wounds is often the easier part of recovery. Healing the emotional wounds can be much more difficult. But as David Martin reports, a simple dinner with friends can make all the difference. John Borders two and a half years ago, his first night out of the hospital, coming to grips with the trauma of losing his right leg in Iraq. John Borders now, stepping out on Friday night for dinner with more recently wounded soldiers. You don't have to come off the bus anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. <laughs> it's a weekly dinner for the wounded that on this night is marking its fifth anniversary. Free eats are nice, but what's really going on is healing. Hal Coster and another Vietnam vet, Jim Mayer, who lost both his legs, started the dinner five years ago. Did you think you were going to make it to five? Well, we didn't think we'd have to. It wasn't a matter of wanting to. We certainly didn't want to. It's become a place where everybody knows your name and shares your pain. I always sit down with a guy that doesn't have any legs, has his amputee. I tell him I'll get his food for him, just as long as he'll cut it for me. Iraq left Chris Bain with a useless left arm and a handicapped right. What he and all the others get out of these dinners is a taste of being normal again. They gave us confidence to, to go out and not be afraid to get in front of people. And that's what those dinners mean. They mean the world to you. It's a life-saving tool. Andre Sillier doesn't know yet if he's going to keep his left arm. So it helps to know that with a little practice and a special knife, a one-armed man can cut a steak just fine. It's hard to believe any one room could encompass so much suffering and so much happiness. This is my little guy. He, he was born when I was in Iraq. And important to remember, soldiers are still coming off the bus for their first Friday night dinner. David Martin, CBS News, Washington. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.